brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove a front door panel on this 2007 uh, Yukon Denali. The same procedure for Yukon Denali as well as the Sierra Denali um, and the Chevrolet Silverado, Tahoe, and Suburban LTZ models. Only tools you'll need are a small flat plate screwdriver, a regular flat plate screwdriver, a door handle or a door panel clip tool, and a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet with an extension. Disconnect the battery. You'll want to open up the driver's door, pull the hood release lever. There's a safety latch. Move it to the right and then lift the hood up. And the battery is near the rear of the engine compartment on the passenger side. There's a 10 millimeter nut on top of the negative battery cable. Loosen that 10 millimeter nut and pull the battery cable up and off. And then put it to the side so it won't contact the terminal again. Open up whichever door uh, you want to remove. There's a little square clip on the door lock that you want to pry out with a small flat blade screwdriver. Then use a small flat blade screwdriver, pry that panel out. And then there's a little panel in behind the door handle that you pry out. And this is the same for either front door. And then you'll see there's a 10 millimeter bolt there and two behind the door pull. So you use the small flat blade screwdriver, pry out that square clip, pull that up and off, and then use a rag and to help protect the paint and pry out the triangle that's at the top of the door and pull straight off and then 10 millimeter socket and ratchet with an extension and remove the three bolts. A screwdriver and a rag just to protect the door panel and pry up on the switch panel and then kind of work your uh, finger underneath and pull it straight up and you'll pull it up some and then pry up in the front. The clips are located right at the front and right at the rear. And then the harnesses are all connected with a connector that has just a little tab that you press and pull the connector down and out. You need to release the clips that hold the panel in. I've got a door panel clip tool and a rag again to protect the paint. Work the panel clip tool underneath and around uh, the clip. And then I'm gonna put the screwdriver between the clip and the rag and pry out on the clip tool. And you can hear it, you hear it pop the um, clip out. And I'll just repeat that. And I usually try and get the first four on the back side. And once you get those, then you can usually work your hand underneath to a point where you can kind of feel where the clip is and then pull um, firmly and you'll release the clips. If your door panel has never been removed before, you'll need to remove um, the water shield from the door panel. There's a black clip you can see there that I'm trying to pry out. Um, there's usually three or four of these on each panel. So you try and pull the clips out um, or you can pull on the water shield and either uh, pull the clip out at the same time or pull the water shield from around the clip. And again, there's usually three or four of these on each panel. If your door panel has already been off though, a lot of times they're, they'll already have been removed. Now pull the door panel up and out and it's still connected uh, with the um, door handle cable. So looking in behind, there are a couple of tabs that hold the handle cable in to the clip. Release the tabs and then you can pull the cable out and then out and the ball out like that. And your door panel is separated to reinstall. There are two larger clips at the bottom that you can kind of put into the door and it will support the door panel while you reinstall uh, the cable. 
insert the ball of the cable into the handle and then move it around and clip it into place. Make sure that you pull up all the um, harnesses, make sure they're all up through that opening. Then you lift the door panel up and push it back and down onto the window ledge clip. The entire uh, top of the door goes in the clip and then once you have the window ledge secured, then put the, then you just can use your hands and lock in the clips all the way around. Make sure you pull the door lock up and put the door lock knob back in, slide it down on there and then push the clip. I like to load the bolts kind of into the socket and then put them into place. And then I'll just fast forward here as I put all three of them in and tighten them up. For triangle back in place, the panel behind the door handle and the panel behind the door pull. All the harnesses are color coded and they only plug in one way. Replug those in and then put the switch panel back in place. And then reconnect your battery and you should be all good to go. Put the negative battery cable back on the post and 10 millimeter socket ratchet and extension and tighten it up. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.